Hi, this is Paul with iFix Mini. Today I'm going to be talking about removing the variable valve timing springs on the N12, N16, and N18 engines. The N12 started in 2007. The N18 and N16 started in 2011 with the LCI or facelift minis. Uh, and so here's a short video of them. These are what the springs look like right here. It's very similar on all of those model engines and the process for removing them is pretty much the same. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the cam lobe larger side is facing where it's not putting pressure against the intermediate, intermediate uh, bar. I, I don't, it's not a bar, but the intermediate lever, whatever you want to call it, that has the rollers on it. Uh, so you make sure that the cam lobe larger side is facing away from there. Then you have to use a special tool to remove that spring. What you want to do is you want to set this tool like this over the top and this these parts right here right on that back bar the variable valve timing bar while these front ones kind of ride those springs on the front side like that so it sets down and then what you want to do is on the inside here let's see if I can get as good of a picture as possible brighten that up a little bit on the inside here you have to make sure that these attach on the bottom side of the spring right here and there so you adjust this lever right here to loosen You get those to fit on there like that and you tighten it up see how it tightens up on that spring from there once it's all in place and those are tight you just You just want to pull back on this main lever and make it clip in. Like that right there. Now, that spring is actually loose. And it's being held in place by this tool. From there, you want to loosen up this torx right there on the top. That is an E8. Go ahead and pull that all the way out of the way. Then that whole thing kind of pulls up. You got to kind of rock it back a little bit and rock it from side to side. And then there it is. Now that you got it that far,
you have to loosen the spring while it's in this compressor so that you can take off the other ones. Use this other special tool here. You could put this on a vise or something like that to hold it. Uh, I just like to manhandle it myself. Just put it up against the table like this. Push down here. Push up on that lever. Release it. And there it is. You can unscrew this here. And there it is. Remove the spring from the variable valve timing.